Hi. Hi. <laughs> My name is Solana Sovan, and today I want to talk with you a little bit about Chrome extensions and how to do them with the React. But first of all, I want to thank all the sponsors who make this conference actually possible and us to learn from each other. So a little bit about, about myself. I love React, I love Redux, I like functional programming, so thanks for the previous talk, it was very awesome. Uh, also, I'm a secret fan of the CSS, Avengers, and Harry Potter, and you can find me in the Twitter by handle Frontend Girl. Currently, I am working as a software engineer at the company Webflow. We are aiming to empower all the people in the world to create software without knowing how to code. And we are all React, yeah. And more than 60% remote, just saying. I am originally from Ukraine, and currently, for the last two and a half years, I am living in London, in the United Kingdom. And yes, I am speaking English as my second language. Who is well speaking English as a second language? I'm in the right, uh, right audience. So actually, my talk will be connected with English and slightly with my accent. Uh, so what is happening? As I said, uh, more than 60% of our company is remote, but still most of them are native English speakers. And it often happened to me that someone said something or written something, and I'm like, what? You probably can say, mm, you just need to go to Google Translate and translate what you haven't understand. But it's kind of like a joke, because most of the idioms or phrases that native English speakers are using, they are not in the Google Translator, and you just can't get the context. So I found myself more often go going instead to Urban Dictionary, which is a much better place to check for all the phrases and idioms. And I know why you're smiling this way, <laughs> but actually it's a good source also for like culture, English-speaking culture overall. For example, features like Double feature, buy one ticket to the cinema and go to these two movies. Or even more weird phrase, across the pond, is the way how UK people and United States people refer to each other when they are going to opposite country. So it's pretty normal when you are in London and someone native is referring, oh, I was on the weekend across a pond and it was good. And actually this person is saying that he or she was in the United States. And you can't get it without the, like, knowing that it actually is an idiom. And yes, that's why you are probably smiling, because there is a strong, very much strong language in the Urban Dictionary, and you should be prepared to this. I'm not a big fan of strong languages, so I just get myself prepared. So, okay, I can search for some phrases, I can search for some idioms, but I wanted more. I wanted to, like, sound a little bit more like native and use them in my everyday language more vividly. But I do not have enough time to learn it actually like land. So I wanted to land them some, somewhere in the background. And some idea came up to my mind to do something similar what Wikipedia has done. They have the Chrome extension that uh, every time when you're opening a new tab, some random Wikipedia article is shown. So I thought, I should create something f like this for myself, but with the appeal of the Open Dictionary. At that point, I have never ever created Chrome extension. So if you are kind of similar as I was, super small overview of how Chrome extension can be created. So first of all, you need to decide uh, how you want your Chrome extension to look like in the UI. Should it be shown in the new UI, uh, new tab, in the search input? Should it be like a small icon that should change only its state? Should it be so, uh, show up somewhere in the context menu? Or you just want a pop-up? or add something to the inspector, or it's like something developer's tool. When you have decided how you want it to look like, the, way, the place to go is to go to the extension API that Chrome is provided. It's quite a good documentation to find out how you can listen to the events that browsers are providing, to understand how you can listen to this event and to respond to them. And the next things to do is, to, in your application, you need the manifest JSON. If you are working with the React and using Create React app, you are blessed because manifest JSON exists from the from the box in the Create React app. And what you will need to do in the manifest JSON is just provide information to what exactly part of the Chrome you want access to. So, for example, I was creating the app that needed a permission to uh, override the new tab. So in manifest JSON, I just provided a string that allows my app actually override the new tab in the Chrome. After that, it's 
pretty easy to, uh, to test it locally. You just need to go to the Chrome extensions, switch to the developer's mode, and you are able to load, unpack your Chrome extension directly in your browser and to test how it looks locally before publishing to the Chrome extension store. So let's very quickly go step by step how I actually created this Chrome extension. I started with the Create React app because it's the place to go, added a super small UI, read data from the back end, use grid because grid is awesome, use some styling, understand that I need only one card, styling a little bit, adding votes that were pos possible from the da uh, back backend data, add example how this word is actually used in the context, Add such so I sh can look up for other words in the Urban Dictionary directly. Add links to the words that are used in the example and in the description of this idiom. And also add possibility to look up for one more random word if I, if I want to. And after that, just publish to the Chrome extension store. Actually, it's, this extension is, pos is available by this link. What were my main discoveries while I was doing this super small project? In our like, mature projects to which we are going to work, there are so many tools that are helping us. And if you are starting from the Create React app, you are missing them so much. I was so much missing Pretty and every possibility, like on every saving, I do not need to take extra care about the styling. I was so missing the flow, but adding flow, it was too premature for that such uh, simple application. Second, my discovery was, that uh, we as a JavaScript developers has currently like abnormal cr creative power. It's we are able not only create like some useful application for other users, we are able to create everything that we need for ourselves for everyday life. We can create Chrome extension pretty easy to change everything what we want. Even more, we can create editors for ourselves. Maybe you know the code sandbox was started from the Create React app, or that uh, recent Firefox dev tools they are created from Java, with JavaScript, React, and Redux. So yeah, we have like power to create. And the second part of this discovery was, yeah, we have the power to create, but we do not have enough time to create everything that we actually want to create. One more discovery was like, okay, I have done this, uh, this Chrome extension in eight hours. It was really, really easy. Like, following documentation, everything was good. Uh, the problems for me personally started when I got here and was trying to publish my Chrome, uh, Chrome extension because I need logo, I need screenshots, I need some descriptions, uh, something else, something else, something else. And this small experience allowed me to feel myself no, uh, not only as a software developer, I actually like a product owner. And being product owner, you will need not only to possibility to code your software, but also to do some marketing, to do so super small some designing, to do some content management, and many, many other st stuff to be successful. But my main takeaway from all this project was, diff was even more different. It was understanding that I actually do in my life what I love and have fun. So do what you love and have fun for next two days. If you have any questions, you can probably find me in the coffee break. <laughs>